Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a pine cone. So let's get started. To crochet these easy pine cones, I'm working with two strands of worsted weight yarn. You could use a chunky yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot. And I'm going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch to join in the first stitch. And that will be the top of the pine cone. Chain two. Work 19 double crochet in this ring. To make a double crochet yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two more. Now I'm going to carry my yarn end along the outside of this ring and then I'll be able to close that hole when I'm totally finished and I have already stuffed the pine cone. So I'm going to go ahead and make 19 double crochet in this ring. Nineteen double crochet in the ring. Okay, I've gone ahead and made nineteen double crochet in the ring. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Chain three. One, two, three. Working only in the front side of the stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Working only in the front of the stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, making chain three, single crochet in each stitch, working in the front side of the stitch. Now I'm going to move these over to the front and I'm going to slip stitch in the very next stitch in the back side of the stitch, the stitch, the side that we skipped when we worked the last row. So now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around, but I want to reduce by two stitches in this row. So when I get approximately halfway, I'll skip a stitch. It's not important where you skip your stitches and I'll skip the last stitch. So I'm going to go ahead all the way around working in that back side of the stitch, making a double crochet in each stitch. So I'll work up to the center and I'll show you how to reduce in the next stitch. Okay, I've worked almost halfway across. I started here and so now I'm going to skip a stitch. So to skip a stitch, I'm just going to insert my hook into the next stitch and only pull up a loop. And then I'll go into the next stitch and I'll pull up a loop. And then I'll complete my double crochet by pulling through those three loops and then the last two. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a double crochet in each of these remaining stitches. And then I'll skip the last stitch. So I'll come back and show you there. Okay, I worked all the way around and I have two stitches left to work into. So I'm going to reduce by one stitch here. So I'm just going to pull up a loop in that stitch and then I'm going to pull up a loop in the next stitch and then complete my double crochet by pulling through three loops and then the final two loops. And then I'm going to find my first chain two and I'm going to slip stitch to join. So now I'm just going to repeat the previous row. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three and I'm going to single crochet in the front loop of the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the front loop of the next stitch. And I'm going to repeat all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I now have two rows. So there's my last chain three. I'm going to move these stitches forward 
so that I can see all those loops that we skipped. I'm going to slip stitch into this first loop, chain two, one, two, double crochet in the back loop of each of the stitches all the way around, reducing by one stitch when you get halfway across, and then reducing by one stitch at the end of the row. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I worked all the way around, working one row of double crochet. And now I'm going to work another row of the chain three loops. So chain three, one, two, three, working only in the front side of the stitch, single crochet. One, two, three, single crochet in the front loop. And you're going to repeat all the way around. Okay, I've worked three rows. Now I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to double crochet halfway across. I'm going to reduce by one stitch, finish double crocheting, and then reduce one stitch at the end of the row. So chain two, one, two. Bring these forward so that you can see all those back loops that we skipped and double crochet in each one of those loops. We're decreasing by two stitches around the row. Okay, one more row completed of double crochet. So the next row is going to be another row of, of these chain three loops. So I'm going to go ahead and work that and then I'll show you how to finish the tip. Okay, I've gone ahead and finished that row. And I'm going to finish the end of the pine cone. So I have already slip stitched to join. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now that I'm halfway around, I'm going to skip a stitch and I'm going to do that by pulling up a loop, pull up another loop in the next stitch and then complete my single crochet. And I'm going to continue around. And I've reached the end of the row, so I'm going to skip another stitch finish with my single crochet and then slip stitch into the next single crochet like that and now I'm just going to single crochet around I'm going to skip every fourth stitch so one two three and I'm going to skip that fourth stitch so pull up a loop and go into the next stitch and finish the single crochet. I'm just going to keep doing that until the end is closed. Okay, I just continued to re reduce every fourth stitch until the end was closed. Now you can fasten off and weave that yarn end back into the finished work. Now all of these will come down this way. like that. And there's the yarn end that I worked around, so I'll be able to close that. But before I do that, I'm going to stuff. And you can use either fiber fill or cotton balls to stuff your pine cone. I'm just going to use cotton balls today. Get that stuff up and then I can pull this yarn end and close the top of the pine cone. And I'm going to pull one of those yarns over to the other side. I can tie this into a knot. And then tie this into a knot. And that will form a hanger. And I'll just use my crochet hook and I'll pull that yarn end up inside the pine cone. And trim that off. And there's the finished pine cone. And I'm going to decorate mine with some easy bows. So here's an easy way to make a bow. Just start folding your fabric like this back and forth. Like that until you run out of ribbon. So this last one You'll have to flip it like this 
and then you can take a piece of yarn or even a pipe cleaner pass that yarn right through the center of all those loops and tie it tightly And then just trim that extra end so that you have a bow like this. And I'm going to make two, one for each side. So I'm going to attach one on one side and I'm going to make another one to attach on the other side. And I'll attach one bow on this side and one on this side. And I'm going to cut a bit of this garland and I'm going to put one little clump in the center of each of my bows. And I made some red berries with earbuds and here's how to do that. And I'm going to glue some right in the center of my greenery. 